Hello friends, welcome to Pega Learn. Uh, today we will discuss about the few more Pega interview questions and answers. Okay, so first question will be um, mostly they will ask in activities we have OBJ methods, right? On OBJ methods, what interview questions could come? Um, most uh, frequently asked question will be like. What is the OBJ open method versus OBJ open by handle versus OBJ browse? Okay. So this question, this interview question can be asked in many different ways. One possibility is direct question. What is the difference between OBJ open and OBJ open by handle? What is the difference between OPJ open and OPJ browse? Okay. And some interviewers ask differently. Like if you want to get multiple records, for suppose you need to fetch multiple records, data records, or work, work objects. How do you fetch? Okay. And you can be asked differently, like uh, you need to fetch entire work object. Which method do you use? Or how do you fetch the entire work object? You need to fetch only few properties, not entire work object how do you fetch okay. you need to get a list of records how do you fetch so this is how you can you can be asked this question into the question the answer will be um, the same thing but we need to understand this question is related to the obj open obj open by handle obj browse we will see what are the differences between them and what is the purpose of each of this method and where do we use exactly? Okay, so we have the OBJ. When I click on down arrow, we'll go with the OBJ open. Okay, OBJ open and OBJ open by handle both almost work same, but in the name obj open by handle means we give the handle work object handle here right that means we give the instance handle our pzins key we pass here and get the entire work object okay here for obj open we need to pass the key okay it's not the pzins key but we get the pyid like a key of the class and open it so we will see like uh, for suppose i have and click show in app explorer and when i click on it i have like few cases here so i will take the same class for demoing class is this i'll give like temp yes. See down arrow temp work page is the step page and here class we can give the same class and property. So let me open the class open class record. If you open this class, we can see uh, that this is a belongs to class group. That means. Key, key will be in the class group case okay, so that means um, class group means it can be like if I till work This is the class, class group. See, if you see this one, 
this is a concrete class and this is a class group and all the case types will be belongs to this class group if you see this class group this has the key as pyid so we can use the pyid yeah here for suppose i can take like m dash 10 I'm commenting the remaining steps. Save, run, and put the tracer on. In tracer, we need to go to settings, and here we need to select the DB query so that we can see the query in the tracer. Now click on run. This is completed successfully. Come back to the tracer. And if you see here, this is the work object, which is fetched from the table. And if you see here, the SQL, this line, when I click on SQL, I can see the query also. Select PZPV stream and commit date time from the, no, this is not the exact query. I, when I click on this SQL query is for this table rule property table and here if you see this is our work class pc my org as well work when i click on sql queries here we can see the actual query select pzpv stream pzpv stream nothing but blob commit date time from the work table where pzns key equal yes so even though we passed the PYID, it has taken the internally it has taken the PZNS key and opened the entire blob or object. Entire work object is open. This is OBJ open. Okay. Now let me try for the OBJ open by handle. Okay. So from here I'll take the This is the PJ Dynas key. I'm closing the tracer. I'm commenting the OBJ open for OBJ open by handle. And here, Tempork page. See, Tempork page is already present in the clipboard, right? So before executing this one, I need to use page remove so that existing page will be removed from the clipboard and a new page will be opened so if you see here hmm. so what are the log release on commit these options we know right like if you check the checkbox lock the work object will be locked and we can do we can use the obj save method in the following steps if you don't click on it, it the object will be open but not lock will not be acquired and when we click on the release and commit checkbox the lock will be acquired and whenever we commit the changes then the lock will be released now i'm saving it and let me run put the tracer in tracer check whether db query is selected or not yeah it is selected now click on run and open the tracer again now if you see in the tracer step 3 executed and it removed the temp work page and then after obj open by handle happened I, obj open by handle executed and it opened the control left pyid pjdins key so this is the work update that is open and query if you if i open the query if you see the same query executed here also okay so the main difference between the opj open and opj open by handle is we give the handle here like pjn key and for opj open we give the key of the class data class or work class the key will be used 
now this is the difference between open open and open open by handle and what is uh, and both of them will open only one record not multiple if you want to get the multiple records list of records then we use the obj browse so obj browse and page name let's give some page name templist something like that you can give class max records for suppose if you want to get the five max records and here is the filter conditions for suppose when i click on phone or id the condition value only means it will be fetched in the it will be fetched in the results if you put it like a uh, is equal to starts contains okay i'll give the starts with dash for suppose like that and click on pairs see this checkbox is selected this select checkbox whenever we select the checkbox it will one minute let me give this entire class install Okay. Um, yeah, first name, the value only, last name, value only. So if you select the checkbox, that means it will be select first name, last name, PYID from this class or from this table. Okay, and here where where class in where class it will go. In the condition if it is where not value only then in the where class pyid like m dash pyid is like m dash okay if i give like this and here if you want to put something in the filter conditions that field has to be exposed that means that column should be present in the table not in the blob if some some property is not exposed it is not present in the physical column of the table then we cannot use in the filter conditions okay so let me run it again put the tracer close close the existing tracer and put tracer make sure that is selected db query is selected yes now run it come back here see obj browse here if you see this count you need to understand in fifth step it is executed this line is fifth step and in the fifth step sql when i click on sql it is giving like select pyid first name last name and pg is key from the table where where pyid like m dash and this px obj class will be automatically added by the out of the box back out of the box okay whenever we execute any query pxobj class will be added and the pgns key will be also automatically fetched in the results now here if you see i don't have the results to see right so what i can do um sometimes if you see the template results what results do we get we can put it like some property set and use it here as a step base so that when we run it around our test equal test if so it's like a dummy step with some step base i can give even without giving property set just simply one step base empty step with that it will fetch the results okay what happened oh it is down and it open that again okay this is about the obj browse obj browse will will fetch the list of records how many you will be asked this question as well obj browse you need to fetch multiple records how do you fetch how do you answer this one this is the 
if you know the answer you need to give very very elaborately elaborately like we can fetch the multiple records using obj browse method in activity and there is one more method we normally use the report definition to fetch the list of records and either obj browse method in activity or report definition we can use to fetch the list of records if you are if you are asked the question like this if they ask you about the obj browse we can men, we can answer related to the obj browse okay and if they ask like how many max records it can be fetched you can mention like 10000 is the maximum record that can be fetched and hold on the clipboard so we can fetch max 10000 records at a time only the okay, clipboard cannot handle more than 10000 records so this is how you can answer the question if if you are if you are asked like you need to fetch entire work object which method do you use you can use either obj open or obj open by handle in these both methods in activity they will fetch the entire work object all properties will be fetched if you want to fetch only three four properties then you can go for the obj browse fetch only the limited properties okay and related to obj methods you might be asked the obj save related okay obj save and obj save with right now option okay so the question can be directly why why do we use uh, obj save that is one type of question if you want to save the data recorder work object which method do you use in activity you need to mention them obj save if they ask like how can we save a data record into table something like that if they ask for this question you have to answer like we can either use the obj save method in activity or we can use the savable database we will have we have the savable database for every data class data type or every data type data table we'll have the one savable database or we can create our own savable database to save the record okay and if you ask if you, you answered they asked like how can we save we can use the obvious method in activity and uh, we have one more option we can use the savable database uh, to save the record data record now this can lead to multiple questions based on the interviewer if interviewer asked you if you use the obj save method the it will be immediately committed or not that can be one question okay immediate commit happens if not how can you commit immediately okay or you are you mentioned about savable database now this can lead to a different questions how savable database will be called how will you use this savable database? how will you execute this one okay so savable database we, we have the advanced shape in flows to do the savable database or we can um, call the savable database in the flow action processing post processing or so in activity we can use the savable database method method to execute this one so we will be asked this one or we can so multiple whatever answer we give based on our answer next questions will come first suppose they ask like immediate commit happens with the obj save neutral in obj save we have the right now option if you check the checkbox that save will be immediately committed to the db table but it is not recommended by the pega when we use the obj save method in activity and when we check the checkbox right now we get 
रेड गार्डरेल वार्निंग एरर एरर टाइप गार्डरेल वार्निंग एंड इट इट इज इट सेस रिकमेंडेड नॉट टू यूज द राइट नाउ ऑप्शन एंड लेट्स गो विद द पेगा कमेंट्स ओके एंड एंड वी हैव वन मोर मेथड आफ्टर वो भी सेव वी कैन यूज द कमिट मेथड आल्सो टू डू द कमिटिंग so we can answer there are multiple ways we do that we can check the check box and we can use the commit method like that for suppose do you use the obj save method in multiple activities in your company you need to tell right no whenever we need to use the obj save with the right now option we have one wrapper activity to use the obj methods we have one activity and we call that activity from our activity to execute that method okay if you don't know something like that so we need to that is real time in real time we don't directly check the checkbox for obj save we will have one activity in that activity we give obj save and check the checkbox that guard level warning will come to only that activity and for remaining all activities wherever we need to save it we call that activity and pass the parameters to do that obj save with right now option okay and how do you log messages if you ask this question you can mention like you can answer like we have the log messages method in activity and we have three types of messages like info if you give info info messages will be logged into the pega logs and we have the error and info forced you can do like this if they ask like okay you have the log messages method in activity but how do you use this method in data transform okay simple something for suppose if you are asked like how to call data transform from activity you need to mention like we have applied data transform method in activity we call the data transform the rivers they will ask like how do you call activity from data transform we have the method don't remember the method just mention like we have a method we have we have one function and not method we have one uh, function to call the activity from data transform same in data transform how do you log messages we have one function like px log messages and we can pass the parameter like e i f to log the message type as well okay and when it comes to function ideal normally they ask like there is a function in your there is one function in your application and there are updates to that function rule and deployment after deployment after deployment that function execution is failing okay what do you do as the function ever fail for you if yes what did you do so the answer to this question will be yes whenever there are updates to the function rule it will fail after deployment the only thing that we need to do is as part of the deployment activities we need to regenerate the library and after library is generated then we have the button to generate the function as well so if you click on these two buttons then they will be regenerated and it will starts working okay okay looks like it's down my i could show you okay i'll show you in next like uh, how to fix them yeah this is all friends we will meet in our next video with a uh, few more questions okay <clears throat> yeah thank you friends